Roas is taller, the weight is the same. Slight experience advantage in favour of a hauler. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for five two-minute rounds of championship female featherweight kickboxing action. It is sponsored by PSS Security. It is for the WKBF female featherweight South Pacific title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She enters a ring wearing white trunks with yellow and red trim, weighing in at 58 kgs even, representing Bulldog Jim in Manly, Australia. She is a former ISKA East Coast 56 kg champion. She has 28 professional fights, 12 wins, 15 losses, one draw, with one win coming by way of KO. Introducing Laura A. Hola. And your opponent fighting under the red corner, enters the ring wearing black and silver trunks with red trim, weighing in at 57.7 kgs, representing Strike Force New Zealand. She hails from Christchurch, New Zealand. She is the WKBF New Zealand featherweight and IKBF South Pacific full tie rules champion. She has 13 professional fights with 12 wins, one loss, with one of her wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Kelly, the Warrior Princess, bro! Fight us to the center ring, please, for the Rebel John Conway's instructions. All right, girls, come on. First of all, you both must be able to protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions. Obey my instructions when I call break. Stop what you're doing. Step away from each other until I say fight. There are no elbows, but there are knees to the head and spinning back fists. Understand? Good luck. Back in the corner, out at the bell. This is a WKBF fight, South Pacific strap on the line. Kelly Broes out of the red corner. Lara Ahola from Manly, Sydney, Australia, out of the blue. We've seen tonight records mean nothing. There have been upsets aplenty. And uh, let's see whether the physically Bigger looking girl in Broes can put that to play against the more experienced fighter in a hole up. There's that right hand. And she carries some acid in that right hand. Heavy legs as well. A hole up. Well, she just looks like a bit of a buzzsaw. Short arms though, caught at the end of range. Kelly Browers just do well to try and find that range and keep her on the end. Yeah, I feel like Browers is, is moving well. She's pivoting off. She's not just staying in front of a holer who seems to be just throwing whatever she can. Browers, I believe, is getting the bit of the exchanges and landing the cleaner shots, just like that right hand there. It was a clean right hand. Pivoted the head back. Spun it like a clown at an amusement park. She's landed several clean shots. And she has the ability to throw that short as well. She throws it nice and long. She also throws it short. And there's another one. That one was down the tubes. Be good to see her develop a left hook to her game as well. Heavy leg kick. And again, not getting overexcited. Doubled up on the right hand. Heavy left hook there from Ahola. Doesn't look to have a lot of sting on her shots, however. Lois, the Kiwi is doing her best work when she just runs everything straight down the middle. She needs to use her teeth, her body kick, her straight right hand. And there was the straight right hand, rocketed the head back of Ahola, but she's nothing if not tough. Lois just... She does better work, which leads with her left hand as well. And that range find up. Well, that's a round for Broers. A lot of activity, a lot of effort from a holder, but not a lot of clean shots landed. Maybe a left hook now and then and a couple of teeps. But it was that right hand, Dan, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, when she mixes that jab, just like she did there, I feel like uh, Boas, the Kiwi, if she, if she started throwing that jab down the middle a bit more, it would sit up her right side a bit, uh, it, would, it would mask it a bit more, it would make it harder for the Aussie to see. 
Let's try and put her off the inside low kick, okay? You're not really moving side to side to her, Corbett. So you, when you throw your, your swingers, you're going to miss because they're too short. You know what I mean? So move in, move in then, up and over a little bit more. We'll throw a couple of nice straight ones, then go over the top because your power hands there, you're missing, you're hitting her shoulders. She's just got too tight. Go Keep it up. Second down, number two. Instructions there. She knows she's got a short arm fighter next stone, so he's giving her the, the, the right keys to open the lock to Kelly Browers' defense. Let's see if Ahola can execute. Round two. Five two minute rounds. This is a title fight in the South Pacific WKBF. That title and she, she was lucky she didn't turn that kick over. Browers showing some versatility to a game with that right head kick. A little uppercut on the inside. I'd like to see a double up on the jab. Thought about it just there. Stepped over with the right hand. Nice little pull and counter one, two. A hole up. Just uh, staying on the edge of range right now, and I think that's the jab and the teeps that are putting it there. Good adjustment from Bowles, bringing that kick up, keeping everything straight down the middle. The teeps, uh, the nice straight right that's making that head kick very difficult for a holler to see. A holler trying to counter back. She's trying to do what a corner said. That was a nice straight right hand, though. She found the range with her lead hand and then came in with the straight right. But not a lot of acid on it. Broas, when she lands, just has a little bit more sting. Little counter to the inside kick. Smacking the lead leg from Broas. Just got a chin up a little high. Once again, using that lead hand to good effect as she moves well around the ring, trying to put her onto her left leg. Just could do with the left hook, Dan. Yeah, good round for Boris there. She was landing much cleaner shots and she was forcing Ahola backwards. So in uh, the first round, Ahola was putting the forward pressure on, but uh, the Kiwi now has her on the back foot. She's got her two rounds in the hole. Going into this third round, she looks, uh, right low, down and she's right not having a very foot. good time on the front foot. She's gonna come back that left body kick. Right. Just with Watch a shorter fight one. like that, getting into range is right key. Right right. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, you're doing really good though. All right, you're doing everything right. You're picking your shots, you're taking it to her, good. All right, I want a big round this round, big third round, make it decisive. All right, this is, this is where they can turn either way. All right, don't let her come back into it, dominate. All right. Second down for round three. Pretty clear instructions there from Aaron Boyce. Not a lot of technical adjustments suggested. Just strategic. Let's make this big round as we enter into the championship rounds. Rowes. She's continuing to use that teeth. Well, that's a big right hand. She does have some sting on it. A whole lot trying to find a way in. Very earnest. A lot of effort, a lot of application. But she just doesn't have the range. She can't find a way in. Hitting another right hand across the temple. Yeah, that right hand of uh, the Kiwi Broas is doing a phenomenal job. In fact, her entire right side. The right teeth, the right low kick, right head kick, and right hand. And it's the lead left hand that sets it up. A hole up, trying to throw the spinning back fist, but she got intercepted on the way through. Rois's maintenance of range is very good. Not getting overexcited. A 
nice little counter right hand from a hold up. And Broes was just pitter patting a little bit. I'd like to see it put a bit more effort, sit on her right hand a little more now. That was a good couple of right hands now. Now a holder rocking back on her heels. Good counter right hand. And that's the technical mistake that Broes can make sometimes. She's very upright. Once again. A holder having some success with that now, with that right hand. Not enough to win the round, but it's something that Broes will need to look at. Yeah, very good showing by the Kiwi Broes there. Phenomenal performance. Landed the cleaner shots, had the better pressure. When she was at range, she did a great job. Landed some very heavy shots, rocking the head back of the Australian Ahola. You can see there landing multiple shots with that right hand. Okay, a nice sharp spinning back kick. Just throw that at least once or twice this round, okay? And just keep pushing up, okay? Leave the inside low kick alone. Set her up for the right low kick. Just checking that well too much, you know? Left body kick's working as well. Right, you're doing really good. You're looking good, Lara, looking good. Three, three, four kicks, kicks to the body as well. Just to take the wind out of it, all right? Well, yeah, if you're in close. But you're doing everything all right. Doing everything perfect. Brief. All right. Give us a bit of rim this round. Clarity in the eyes right. of Kelly Prowess. Composed, listening to her corner. This is the fourth round of five. The South Pacific featherweight strap on the line. Lightning Mike Angove here with the hangman Dan Hooker. As we count down to the King in the Ring 62 final. But before that, it's Lara Ahola from Manly in Australia against the Kiwi, Kelly Browers. South Pacific strap on the line. <laughs> Kelly Browers maintaining her range well, drifting to her right well. And landing those thudding shots. She's got a very heavy right leg and a decent right hand. And she's using it well. Now she's landing her, her right hand so easily, Dan. It's uh, for mine. It's creating openings for the, there's a counter right hand of uh, Ahola's, but it's creating openings for Broes to use her left hand, which is something you might want to see in her development going forward. It seems like Broes took her uh, foot off the pedal a little bit, and Ahola's still in it. She needs to know that uh, the Australians are still in it. She's very game, and she wants us pressing forward with very nice punches. Broes has chewed up a couple of shots. Ahola only knows one way, and that's to come forward. She's not afraid to take shots, and she will apply pressure if you don't keep her on the back foot. Heavy body kick there from Broes. Right knee again. She is getting countered. When she throws that right knee, she's getting countered by a counter right hand. Now this is spinning back fist that Nick Stone called for. Far better round for a holder. In fact, she's doing enough to win it. Landing clean shots and applying pressure. Broes is going away from using that lead hand, using those teeps. Even double forearm guard and coming with the knee wouldn't hurt her. Gutsy, gutsy round from Lara Ahola from Australia. I think she's won the fourth round. Be interesting to see what the corners have to say. All right. All right. Just give it everything you got, okay? This round. You're doing well, Lara. All right. Breathe, breathe, she breathe. Hates it. She doesn't like pressure, especially on the inside. Nice sharp hands, but step into it. You're doing. You're hitting it one, two. Then you're not hitting it with a three and four. So chase after a little bit. You get it with one. That right hand. Chase, chase, chase. Okay. All right. Now breathe, darling. You're two Two minutes and the title's yours. All right, fight strong, fight smart. Win this round, the title's yours. All right, here you go. When you're tired, move, single off a little bit. When she's charging, single off a little bit, but then counter, don't run. 
Yeah, one more. Final round. Positive words of encouragement from Aaron Boys. Nick Stone calling for Lara Ahola to One empty the five. tank. Angles and counter fighting from Kelly Broes when she's forced backwards. Trying to execute there. Stepping back out of range and then looking to catch Ahola coming in. Just a little bit upright with her chin as she pulls out. Good exchange from both girls. Ahola pushing forward. Broes trying with that left kick high. Spearing her with the right hand. Keeping her at the edge of range. Just a little vulnerable on the counter. Broes. And that pressure from Ahola. She will continue to walk forward. Well, it's a smart fight from Broes. She knows that she's got those first three rounds. I feel like they were very decisive in Broes' favor. So she was three rounds up going into that fourth round. And I don't think in that fourth round it was so much fatigue for Broes, but she was more as regrouping in that last round because she still looks fresh and sharp coming into this fifth round. She's now started to find that range again, spearing her on the end of her left hand, delivering combinations straight down the pipe. Another right hand. Broes knows she has to finish. 30 seconds. Ahola needs a knockout to win. And she eats her right hand. A beautiful one. Good little left hook there from Broes. The teeps are back in play. 20 seconds. Kiwi looks like she's going to take home the title. Ahola coming forward now. Body down on the mouth guard. Chuck your dog stuff. Broes catches her again from the outside. Three seconds. No retreat, no surrender from Ahola, but Kelly Broes emptied the tank as well. She did enough to win the round. And it looks like, barring something strange, we will have the South Pacific strap going to the Kiwi. Beautiful fight from Broes. Very intelligent. Uh, she's developing well. It was a very good showing for the New Zealand women fighters. Well, a good showing for women in general. Very brave performance from Lara Ahola as well. She ate a few big right hands that Kelly Broes can hit with it. Yes and yes, the New Zealand champion in his own right, Kelly Broes' partner. And they look pretty right, happy. Have Michelle from Lethal Ladies up here. Presenting this belt will be Michelle Preston, multiple world champion from New Zealand. Michelle from Lethal Ladies is up here, ladies and gentlemen, to present the belt. Also, while we have a minute, Jason Sunny said, happy 40th birthday to you, ma'am. Happy 40th! Fighters to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. And new WKBF female featherweight South Pacific champion fighting out of the red corner, Terry, the Warrior Princess, Brewers! Well, the Warrior Princess prevails.